And now for our weekly news segment. Do I was trying to keep you, but I guess you need to leave. Andres, you gonna run? <laughs> yes, I, I should leave as well. Wants to go eat. Three, Three p.m. here. We are going getting ready Wait for your lunch. tonight. Yes. No, I eat my lunch first, but then we have to prepare stuff. Enjoy. I'm sure you'll be celebrating with all the millions of Argentinians on the street still. Yeah, I don't expect that that many fireworks because I, I don't think there are many left. Yeah. At this stage, but <laughs> for we all will the see. celebrations, everybody's tired from celebrating. I know, like, yeah, <laughs> just another day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably, probably it's just like, oh yeah, uh, happy new year. Uh, <laughs> 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 just be collapsing. <laughs> yes, collapsing from too much celebration. So yes, yes again, enjoy. Uh, happy new year coming. to everybody. Some people are already leaving the future. I don't know Australia stuff like that. Probably is a new year. Um, so that Feliz Año Nuevo for the Spanish, yes, for the Spanish community over there. It's a big community or Spanish speaking or Spanish community. <laughs> yeah, it's not the same thing. Not the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for the Spanish speaking community. So yeah, Happy New Year. Yes. Happy New Year. I hope. Yes. I wish. I wish everybody the best year. And if even if you don't, if you, even if you're not like super look colder or stuff find yourself a little monero project for the for next year you can draw you can write you can sell coffee you can do whatever find yourself something to do There's it helps the community do. it helps everybody uh, don't be afraid and good luck with it don't be afraid and good luck <laughs> good, good advice <laughs> good advice all right awesome yeah anybody that ever you know that's working on a new monero project you could always reach out to us jump on this show Happy to yeah, happy talk to about what you're working platform. on. Yeah, give you a to talk about it and just share your thoughts. All right, man. Feelings. Okay. Happy, 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 All right. happy New Year. Bye. Happy New Year. Ciao. Have a good one. Take care. Thank you for joining us. All righty, Mr. Tony. Thank you for patiently waiting. Tony, happy going? New Year, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hey, guys. Thank you for Where are you at? Uh, in the cabin, like 40 minutes away from cabin. my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds nice and cozy. Yeah, it's actually like it's actually super warm outside. Usually, okay. it's in the negatives, but today's in the plus. Usually, it's like super cold. It's, oh wow! Yeah. What uh, time is it over there? Uh, eight. Okay. So, okay, so you're getting closer. Yeah, oh wow! Time. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. so please take it away. I think you're the closest we've had to somebody near New Year's. Near New Year's. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> closer? As you're doing the New Year, you're the news until the New Year's. <laughs> Oh my God. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> All righty. Let's uh, have you. Yeah, you can just bring up like. Uh, yeah, just don't go crazy. Or, yeah. You know, like three of the top stories this, this week. week. Yeah. And then maybe we can just yeah, get yeah, feedback yeah. from uh, everybody else that's on stage. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, well, I think I'll go over all of them, but on some, I'll just say it really fast. And then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all good. Um, also, I'm a couple of drinks deep, so. Oh, Sorry. whoa. Celebrating. Uh, Good. Uh, uh. <laughs> Happy New Year, Tony. <laughs> Happy New Year. Midnight. <laughs> All right, go for it. Okay, let's get into it, guys. Um, firstly, I want to mention uh, the U.S. might need to ban crypto, says Banking Committee uh, Sheev. U.S. Senator and Chairman of the Senate Banking Co uh, Committee, uh, Sherrod Brown, spoke on Sunday about what actions regulators need to take after the implosion of, of FTX. And um, it's interesting how they've forgotten, because this year hap happened so many things. We had Luna, uh, so many dif different implosions, but they only mentioned FTX. And after FTX, they really upramped all these regulations. Um, and then he said over here, he suggested that crypto may be something that ought to be banned, if not for the risk of sending the industry offshore. Then he talks about banning crypto and uh, how SBF, FTX, former and disgraced boss, used political favor and donations to create an, an illusion of credibility around himself, presenting a flaw within the current political system. Um, and overall, he claimed the FTX collapse represents just one large part of the dangers of crypto, which includes uh, Ponzi schemes, poor consumer protections, and national security threats, obviously. Um, and among those threats are Korean cyber criminals, uh, drug trafficking, human trafficking, and terrorist financing, of course. Um, but if we go below, 
it actually mentions um let me see where it, it is because uh, that was actually interesting uh where's that quote but okay i can't i can't find oh yeah okay uh federal reserve chairman jeremy powell has clarified that he has no intention to ban crypto so they're trying to ban crypto and it might work uh, for some of them because they're centralized but how are you going to do it to monero um so it's going to be interesting what they're going to do uh in the coming year to ban crypto and the effect that it's going to have on on monero and good story yeah we gotta we'll, we'll have to do a monero talk on that yeah for sure um now i want to, I want to mention something that is going to thrive uh through this ban that is coming in the us which is the monero market.io <laughs> and uh, it's something new um that i've seen and it's really interesting because they offer services uh products um, and it's priced in Monero and then also in, in dollars. So you can buy honey for $15, which is 0 0.1 Monero. And if we click on it, let's see how it looks like. Now you can add the card. You can message, uh, Kutch T, which is the seller <laughs> <laughs> of, uh, the honey. And it's the best quality Slovak honey bee farm located in the Ooh. national park. Hmm. Interesting. I love it. Yeah, so um, there's actually a lot of stuff. Electronics. Let's go to electronics over quick. Oh, Xbox. You can you can buy a Nintendo Switch. You can buy iPhone here. 5. Um, a TV. You can even buy a TV. So you can buy a lot of stuff. Nice. Uh, pretty cool. It's basically like a Craigslist. So it's easy to it's easy to post as a vendor. Create your own. Yeah, but I want I wonder what. Kind of escrow system they use because mm -hmm. you know it's kind of hard to trust yeah anybody <laughs> for monero market that's uh listening out there and wants to jump on and talk about who do you know who's running the project there's been a couple of attempts so far at this concept obviously but nothing's gained good traction yet i think this guy xmr 808 i think it yeah. might be him submitted my service bullish on the on his website yeah so i think that it's this guy so if we want to get in touch with him I'll be him, <laughs> I think. Uh, but let's uh, let's move on. Let's talk about uh, Monero users urging followers to pull coins from Binance, uh, which is something that we've been talking about this whole year because the Binance constantly uh, suspends withdrawals and enables them again. So it just keeps doing that. And on the 25th of December, on Christmas Day, a Reddit user named Dr. Antarctica announced that Binance has restarted uh, withdrawals of Monero on the Binance platform, though it may be, it might be temporary, of course. Because <laughs> again, like I think at least once a month they suspended it, they re-enable it. Um, so this is nothing new. And if we go to uh, this post by Crypto Morpheus, uh, Monero actually is starting to store the Binance withdrawal status for Monero in a chart. So if you go on this chart, it actually plugs in. Um, zero for disabled, meaning the withdrawal is disabled, or one for enabled, and uh, on a specific period that it's uh, been enabled or disabled. So this is pretty cool, and it's interesting, because now you can actually see it live, how many times uh, Binance has uh, uh, stopped withdrawals. So uh, it's really interesting. And now moving on, I want to mention atomic swaps and uh, they're incentivizing new contributions with bounties. So if you do want to, uh, they need uh, they need help for XMR to Bitcoin atomic swaps. And if you want to help bring it to production, uh, we need more people to contribute. So make sure that you um, go on this link and uh, click on this link and then um, you can you can see how you can help. Um, and it'll be a good way to start 2023. With a good cause. Only got a couple left. Uh, Cake Pay, Cake Pay Mobile released the volume um, for the month. Um, I think this was for just like the whole year, actually. And Monero is at 82%. Bitcoin is at 16 and Litecoin is at <laughs> uh, 2%. So um, not a lot of people use Litecoin. Most of the people use, uh, use Monero for Cake Pay. 
because uh, I think a lot of people are introduced to Cake Bay through uh, Monero. Then if you want to go to Monero Dance, uh, it's a new news website and you can find a lot of things, including Monero Talk, and you can see all the Monero Talks that we've had on the show, uh, Monero Chan News, uh, Monero Research, Monero Standard, uh, Monero Moon. So basically- Yeah, I like everything. this one. This keeps everything, it's, it's cool. a good overview of yeah. everything. Yeah, if, like everything, Indeed. pretty yeah. much. Yeah, they it. even have our uh, Telegram on here. <laughs> who's who's nice. doing Monero Dance? Yeah, we'll have dance. to get them to jump up and do it. Like, <laughs> the Monero you know. Dance. <laughs> Monero uh, Dance. I love it. I'm not sure. I think I've had... Um, I think I, I saw it on Reddit, and then I just clicked on the link and exited Reddit. But I think it was from Reddit. I'm not sure. But I can find a person. Yeah, cool. We'll have them jump yeah, up maybe one Maybe we can jump on, I yeah. guess. That'll be <laughs> cool. Then um, a meme posted by John Foss. <laughs> Guys literally really? will only want one thing. <laughs> <It's disgusting. laughs> yeah, it's literally only <laughs> It was funny. Uh, this one, free commas. Uh, we, of course, we couldn't end the year without another hack. We've had ha all this year. We've had hacks. Uh, all things happening across the space, and free commas actually has been hacked. Um, Ten thousand of the keys um, of private keys has been um, uh, released, and an anon anonymous uh, Twitter user has obtained around. Um, 100,000. So far, only 10,000 has been leaked, and uh, essentially, he's going to publish more. Um, so, of course, we couldn't end the year without another hack. Um, and then I want to mention Turkish Central CBDC and the fact that they ran the first CBDC tests. Um, wait, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> They're partying. Um, the <laughs> <laughs> it's my friend. Um, so the Central Bank of Turkey has conducted the first tests of its Turkish uh, digital lira. And um, in the beginning of the year, it didn't really seem um, like CBDC was coming that this soon. But CBDC is coming sooner than you might think. You know, they, they project in 2028, 2026. But look at Turkey. In the first quarter of 2023, this uh, Central Bank of Turkey will continue its small scale closed loop application pilot tests conducted with technological stakeholders. The test results will be made public. And in 2023, the, the Turkish digital lira will move to the advanced stages where the central bank will conduct pilot tests with broad participation, including banks and financial technology companies. So <laughs> we'll make your moves. Yeah, expect CBDC coming in 2023. And I'll make a point to this uh, actually in a bit. Uh, then I want to talk, we know about this. We know that uh, Bitcoin mining the two Bitcoin mining pools command more than 53% of Bitcoin's total hash rate, specifically one called Npool sitting at 21.9% and Foundry USA at 31.4%. And if you add um, F2 pool, I think it's sitting something like 67% in only three pools. Does it really look uh, decentralized? Not really. So going, going back to the ban, which one do you think could be banned um, um, easier, Monero or or Bitcoin. Something to to think about. And then I want to mention Italy. If you wanted to move to Portugal, if you wanted to move to Italy because they had no uh, <laughs> uh, capital gains tax on crypto, you might think again uh, because they just approved the twenty six percent capital gains tax on uh, crypto. The tax in the works since earlier this year will be levied on profits in excess of two thousand. Um, Euro. And lastly, I want to mention uh, that Lark Davis actually um, released a video on uh, Monero. He explained it in, in under 60 seconds, and he has 1 million followers. So uh, definitely a huge, huge reach. And um, it's interesting how he uploaded it like two days before uh, the new year. So it's, um, it's a good way to start. And what I do want to mention is... Um, there's so many things that happened this year, including the war and uh, within crypto, um, everybody's probably demoralized. I'm not sure how 2023 20, is going to be. I, I just hope that everybody's going to be, that all of us are going to be uh, stronger. I don't think it's necessarily going to be a better year. Uh, I mean, we're looking at a recession, you know, and uh, I just hope that we are going to be stronger to withstand what's coming. And uh, I think that we're going to see a huge adoption of of Monero coming in 2023. So 
Don't Sorry, worry. guys. Um, <laughs> that was good. Just Sorry. Run through it really quick. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that. But um, um, yeah, go ahead. 